what is up everybody Twist here again with another awesome Black Ops 3 video for you guys today I have some more obviously some Black Ops 3 gameplay as the Black Ops 3 hype gets bigger and bigger I have you guys some awesome news about Demolition returning to Black Ops 3 Demolition has not been in Black has not been in Call of Duty for a while now I, I believe it was in Black Ops 2 not 100% almost positive I know it was in Modern for 3 I cannot remember fully if it was in Black Ops 2 I, I think it is if I'm wrong just correct me in the comments section below guys <clears throat> but yeah uh, we, we have for sure, not seen Demolition um, in Advanced Warfare or Call of Duty Ghost. Don't know why they ever took it out. It was a great game mode. I loved it. Um, and, and same with Headquarters. It took out Headquarters in both games or not. Uh, both games. And I'm not really completely sure uh, if they're bringing Headquarters back. If they are, I'll make another video about that. But I, I, that's not what I'm here talking to you guys about. Uh, obviously, it's about Demolition today. And I am super pumped for Demolition to come back. I'm super pumped to get the game and you know play it. Hopefully, it's one of these seven multiplayer so hopefully uh, for the beta they, they already announced that there's going to be 7 multi multiplayer modes you can play. Hopefully Demolition will be one of them so I can get back into that rhythm. But for those of you who do not know what Demolition is because maybe you started playing Call of Duty and maybe Ghost or Advanced Warfare. I feel sorry for you because it kind of went downhill from there. <laughs> um, <clears throat> maybe you just didn't ever play it at all and you, you, know, you just want to know what it's about. Basically Demolition was um, pretty simple. It was you had a... Uh, you had a, two teams, obviously, a planning side and a defending side. There was two bomb sites, kind of the same bomb sites as Search and Destroy, but it's not really at all related to Search and Destroy, besides the fact that you have to plant a bomb. So the, the offensive side had two bombs. They had to, you know, plant and blow up uh, for them to win, and then it would switch sides to the defending side, or if you were defending, it would switch sides to you would switch sides to the offensive sides. So uh, obviously, on, on the defensive, you just didn't want, you didn't want, not want the team to end up blowing up both bombs, and you would win the round. Uh, and then obviously, if you were on. Um, Offensive, you just want to blow them both up, and then if you end up tying, you go into overtime just like normal. Game mode would be like, <clears throat> um, actually, I, I'm not sure if they actually ended up having a tie or not, but yeah, so the reason most, so many people loved it was because you could play this objective, but a lot of people loved getting kill, being a kill whore on this game mode because it, let's say you start off on planning side or even defending side, let's just go with planning side though. Basically, on planning side, you, you could have, if you had a good team, you could get a good spawn strike going, you could just go for straight kills if you were just outslaying them and just keep getting kills and streaks non stop, which is always fun. And once the time starts, once the time starts to get down lower, you can go up and you know plant a bomb and blow up one of the bombs. Not both, just blow up one of them, and that would add extra time to the clock, which would give you obviously more time to get more and more kills, uh, and then obviously more and more XP in return for that. Uh, and then you know when time came, if you wanted to win, you could just plant another bomb at towards the end, and you know win the round. And then it came defending side when you would switch, and you could do almost the exact same thing: out slam, spawn trap, whatever you wanted. And then when time came to time getting a little bit down towards the end, you could let some of the guys out of their spawn if you're spawn trapping, or you could just stop defending the bomb, whatever it is you're doing. Let them plant one of the bombs, let it blow up, and you get more extra time on the clock. And then you know you could just play the rest of the time out just out slaying them and not letting them plant that other extra bomb, and you could win easily. It was a great game mode for you know slaying XP, a bunch of stuff like that. So that's why a lot of people loved it. That's why I loved it. You know, if you have a good team, it's a great way to. Put, it's just a fun game with all around I think um, but yeah so I'm really happy to see this coming back I hope you guys are as well uh, but other than that guys I hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay in the background along with this video itself with its content other than that hope you guys enjoyed the video please comment right and subscribe guys if you did and I will see you guys next time